I am not going out with you if you are dressed like this. What's wrong with that? Don't tell me how to be dressed. Uh, you are going out with me. We are together. You cannot go out dressed so? with this tank okay. top. No, I like it. Maybe I put a t-shirt on top or something. I don't have to see it that much. Is that okay? Yeah. No, I don't, I don't care. I'll wear it. Welcome. Welcome to our channel, Bubbly Alex and Bubbly Laura, where we talk about relationships. Yes, and we're dressed in tank tops just for today, just for the show. It's brand new. We got it just for the show. It's from Mama. Yes, it's from my mom. Yes, 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 yes. I know tank tops. I don't wear them anymore. Sometimes during sleep. Just to wear Anyways. Them this we are going to talk about but now make sure that you are subscribed right here yes and and our channel uh, as a reminder talks about illustrates daily struggles between couples where the like evil chats guys and their thing tops yes and we decipher the the struggles and use the one bubble concept to see if we can succeed in getting rid of the ego that chats inside you know what I thought about? It's not if we succeed every time. Like the one bubble concept works every time. That is true. Uh, it, we've been very successful with the one bubble concept. And that's exactly uh, what we try to illustrate to you. And now case. let's see what actually happened. Absolutely. So what did happen? <clears throat> that is more of a, not a one-time situation but a repeating situation, it took a while. So I used to wear these tank tops uh, and uh, just how I grew up with, I guess, in Bulgaria, where I'm from. And I think I it's quite common, right? For men to wear mm -hmm. this underneath, not to go out like that, right? Like we are exaggerating a little bit. I've never been on the streets just with a tank, white tank top like that. But we put it under a t-shirt, or a shirt or a sweater or whatever, right? And uh, so <laughs> in this case, it bothered Laura, right? I, I never really thought about it that much. I just, my mom used to put them on me when I was a child. And so I kind of grew up wearing them. So they, what it is, is they keep your body warm. It's because it's close to your body, right? It's not to go out on the streets with them. Some people wear it like that. There is a fashion, right? Like in, in the States, there's people that wear that out, outside, right? Yeah, yeah. but they're uh, like not white, and it's not underwear. It's... White tank tops is very, like they're, they're, like they're stretchy here, right? They're, they're very by the body to show off muscles. Um, oh, yeah. It's but a fashion amongst this is uh, people. Another thing, and it also yeah, is not it is. my favorite. Um, so anyway, it created kind of a conflict uh, because, uh, you know, I, I'm accustomed to wearing them. Not that I'm in love with them, but just I'm used to it, right? And when Laura told me I can't wear them, it kind of, my ego kind of started, you know, saying in my head, well, why are you, all of a sudden you're going to tell me what to wear, what not. We, we've been together for, for not as long for you to tell me what to wear and what not. But anyways, the ego is an excellent opportunity, my ego to jump in and say, you can tell me what to wear. Yeah, wait, and, we are talking about the ego in another... Yes, oh, sorry, yes. Yeah. Anyway, so that's the situation. I'm wearing the tank tops, and I like to wear sweatpants. Everywhere. So we're gonna talk, that's why I'm with them now. Uh, they, see, they, they can be seen, right? Sweatpants, just uh, easy and lazy, lazy pants, I guess you'd call them too. And that's another topic. Uh, that's another uh, case uh, between the tank tops and uh, the lazy pants when I go out with them. Laura does not want me to go out with him. So we had a few arguments where I'll wear this and she would say, that doesn't look good enough to go out on the street with. It's not, that's for, for home. You wear this at home. Where I didn't care. Living in North America, we don't necessarily care how they're dressed, right? So that, that bothered Laura and that's the situation from my side. Tank top, sweatpants. Laura, what is the situation? Is that the situation? Um, yes, like, I have seen only my grandfather wearing this, to me it looks super funny and super, like, and old-fashioned 
and uh, fashion for old people, not only old fashion, but to wear a tank top under a t-shirt or a shirt when you are like young and strong and handsome and Me? this is not uh, an appropriate cloth for a young, uh, young man. And I was very, very um, stressed and shocked that he wore them. Actually, uh, when we started dating, I, I was having quite a lot of fun in the beginning. After that, it started, started bothering me that he exactly wears them under shirts and t-shirts. And I was really talking a lot that I don't like it. And commenting is, and also um, he sleeps with this. Come on, like you cannot go to sleep with this. It's like no, it's not pajama. No, there are t-shirts. T-shirts are so much more it's okay. handsome. It's okay, it's okay. Look how wet it is. I don't like it. What about my sweatpants? Same thing. You can you use your lazy pants at home not out or you go train like do sports with them okay but you don't go out for a walk in sweatpants with lazy pants no i don't know i'd say trousers i don't know these are clothes for home not pants. for the streets home pants lazy pants yes. pajama style but imagine my cultural shock when i came here and i saw people literally going outside in these in pyjamas and flip-flops, but not uh, the one with the um, finger here, how is it called? But like, no, 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 this is, this is a fashion crime. A flip-flop for the swimming pool, that kind of, that kind of flip-flop. Something that is not for outside. People yes. here, have, they don't care about these things. Okay, okay so that. now let's see. Okay. Yes. How typically reacts the ego? In this situation, between men and women, and I know you're watching us, and you probably have had situations like that where she is telling you what to wear or what not to wear, or he is telling you, you don't wear this or, or, or wear that. Now, excellent situation for my ego to say, you can't tell me what to wear. And you certainly can't tell me what not to wear, especially if I like it, especially if I've done it all my life. See, this is a typical ego phrase, remember that from us. I've done that all my life, that's an ego sentence. You can easily get rid of it from your life, this sentence in anything you use, and you'll be better off. I've done this all my life, it's not a good argument, right? Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean it's good, right? Um, so my ego says that right away in my mind. Um, it also says, well, uh, there's benefits of wearing it. I'm warm, um, eh, what else is better? That's it. Yeah, I'm comfortable way. for the sweatpants, right? Or the the home lazy pants, but anyway, what it what it is is it creates an argument in my mind, and my ego has an opportunity to mentally fight with Laura. So this is what happened in my mind. I create conversations, I create arguments, and I verbalize them. Also, uh, you um, become defensive. Yes. Yeah, I become defensive, and it, you know it can depends on where she catches me if I'm in a good mood or not. It can go much deeper, it can be lighter, but in any case, my ego creates a mental story. So remember this, there's nothing in my mind, she says something about this, and now I start creating a mental story. But I can't understand that it's not real. I'm doing it myself, right? I'm, I'm talking myself up, and I'm uh, uh, basically attacking Laura in my mind, because I want her to feel guilty for saying that, right? That's, that's the goal of my ego, to say, a sentence like, you can't tell me what to wear, it means I want you to feel bad about what you said and maybe even apologize. Yes, and I don't apologize because in my head, my ego tells me this is quite inappropriate um, uh, behavior. Uh, behavior and this is <laughs> super not okay <laughs> to go out with sweatpants. And then, yeah, I guess we'd call it a sweatpants. Like, okay, lazy, lazy pants. pants. Um, as they are called lazy, you you don't go out with them. Like even to the shop, even to the store. This is. Um, I have taught myself, and I strongly believe in this that 
you wear and you dress yourself the way you want to present yourself and people to to get to know you like the first thing that people see is how you're dressed and if you are dressed in lazy pants and um, like clothes that you wear at home what is that presentation i don't want my husband to be dressed like this and to, because we are together and oh, he's not only presenting himself he's presenting me and i don't want to be uh presented like this this no 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 so and it is something that it also my ego keeps talking like this is uh as I already said, in explaining the situation, like these clothes I have seen only on grandfathers, nor my father, nor my uncle, nor my uh, like boys around me in school, in work. No one wears them. Why my husband wears them? So and is your ego making me a victim, uh, attacking me? Sorry, not a victim, but like in your mind. In my mind, I have to re um Oh. You. You have to retrain, like kind of like retrain really Alex really because um, he has saying. been taught and mm -hmm. he has he wore this thing all his life. Like his mom taught him that this is a must. They were popular. Or you are going to get sick. You are going to yes. have a flu. You are going to be cold, which is nonsense. I have never worn this, and like okay, I have worn this, but like no one understand and it's not something that is uh that, a common thing yeah it's not a common thing and um so i know it. that you're not going to get sick and you're not going to be cold if you don't wear it also you can wear a t-shirt and it's much more comfortable and much better than this thing also um in bed like you know i want to hug him and i'm always interrupted by this you're hugging that beautiful tank top White and blue. instead of hugging my strong and uh, handsome husband, I'm hugging his uh, <laughs> okay. white thingy. Well, see what's happening here is Laura's ego's got enough reasons to attack me. Right? Just wants to to teach him, like you know, it, the ego and the woman always thinks that when you get a husband, you're going to teach him to do what you like. Like this is yeah, to coach him to be to your likes. Right? Yeah. To see how yeah, to convert him to what you want him to be, right? Yeah, not that's, having that's a great topic. Yes. Yeah, not getting in mind at all that this is another human being, and either you like him this way uh, and you accept him, or you don't. Like... Lord Baba is crossing into the next section. Yeah, sorry. Okay, so we, you see what the ego result is. She's getting attacked in attack mode. I get in defensive mode. I get into one small bubble, and she goes into the bubble. Separate beings now. One relationship, two separate beings yapping at each other. The result? Well, you stress. The result you... is also another way, another topic. No, I'm yes. saying the ego. From the ego's point, what happens, right? Oh, okay. Like the result is stressed, you argue, and it can carry on for days, right? Don't we tell me. A I lot of this during the trip. Exactly. So the following the ego path is resulting bad uh, outcome. When we use the one bubble concept, it fixes it. But how exactly? Okay, so I'll start here. Um, you know, it, it, it made me question myself. It's like, well, wait a minute. I'm attacking Laura for because she's questioning a habit that I've had. But what if I am defending just a habit that has no meaning? Can I actually change? Can I actually stop defending myself and say, what if I try without a tank top? What if I try to put another pair of pants when I go outside? If you better, maybe even put a perfume if you want. And, Stay with the lazy pants at home. Let's see how it feels. Is it going to be that much difficult to do that and for yourself to feel better? Like, why attacking the person who you say you love? You can't love someone and attack them. No. Right? So, see how, so think about that sentence that I just said because your ego makes you believe that attacking somebody is the same as love. Well, that cannot be true because love cannot attack, right? It's, it's impossible. So, I said to myself, wait, I've done that all my life. That does not mean it's the right thing or the wrong thing. I'd like to try it a different way. And so Laura is my witness. After I justified that in my head, you know, it took me a little bit. I'm not going to say that it happened overnight. But it's true self-work, right? Mm -hmm. My self-work, understanding is like this attacking 
or defending myself against Laura, who is my wife, is not going to resolve anything, right? I actually create more drama. So that's what I did. And Laura is my witness that uh, since, I don't know when, how long? Last year at some point, until this day, I've not worn this during the day at all. Sometimes I do wear it at night, but that's, we're going to buy a few shirts and I'm going to change that. Because we have them, as soon as they get worn down, I'll throw them away. Yeah, and he has 10 of them. Okay. I'll wear them uh, until my next birthday. And that's it. For sleep. I'm just saying so, sleep. But I've changed the habit of wearing it during the day. True? True. And not going out with this. I changed before I go out. So, what did you do, or what did anything on the One Bubble concept that you did? On the One Bubble concept, I started thinking that, um, analyzing that I get a husband, I don't get a puppy. First. Second, um, I like him. And you know that if, as long as he. Um, feels that much comfortable, I I may reconsider uh, my attitude to this thing. Like, it's not less funny for me, or less, or it doesn't get more attractive with the time. But um, I think that uh, as a human being, um, he is uh, grown up enough to decide how to be dressed. And uh, yeah, we are together, but uh, there is one thing that I'm going to dress myself and to present myself the way I want. And if he wants to look like this, well, it's his thingy. It's him that is going to be looking this way. And, you know, like, there's nothing bad that can happen. I don't know. Um, it's not the worst case scenario. Yeah, it's not. Uh, yeah. yeah, no one's gonna die that because my husband is wearing this. And so you, yeah, it, it, it's a realization that it's another human being, and not attacking is not gonna resolve it, right? Can we say that? Yeah, and also I have always told you know how easy it is to give an advice to someone, like don't take a partner that you want to change because you cannot change him. And I myself didn't want to take uh, a half to change it. I don't want to change my partner. Either I'm going to get okay with this or better, like, it doesn't make sense to be with him at all if I'm not going to accept him the way he, the way is. he is. That's powerful. That's powerful. So it's her analyzing and realizing that another human being, you take them as they are, and whether they wear this or not, does not make them a bad person or a good person is is the person behind this that matters right because the one bowel concept states that a perfect relationship is a relationship between people without egos and my ego uh, tells me that I cannot go out with someone that wears a white uh, yeah. tank top but um, you know this is the devil but the angel says He's the kindest person on earth and he makes you feel like a princess and he does everything for me so I can feel like a princess. Like I can make uh this small exception. I can make an exception and find the and look for the positive thing mm -hmm. and it's funny. It's like funny. you know, I, I always have um think that I can laugh at him. <laughs> <laughs> laugh about it. So here it is again, the One Bubble concept clearly resolved that one, actually, uh, as we described to you, following the ego is drama and argument, following the One Bubble concept puts the two people in one relationship, one bubble, there's no I in us. us. And that is as simple as our, our philosophy is. We resolved that one, we showed you uh, about dressing and dress uh, or like, not wearing what the other partner wants or, or cares about. You are are going to give us some comments to tell us what other situations arise between your uh, part, you and your partner. So How did you feel when you saw your partner super inappropriately dressed? Yes, or something <laughs> that you didn't like. It doesn't have to be inappropriate, but it's something that you don't like. 
you don't did, approve yes, it. Yes, and did you manage to resolve this situation and how did you resolve it? It's going to be our pleasure and till our next We will date. have a, a few break, a little bit of a break, right? Have a couple of yeah. weeks break, we're not sure exactly, uh, to come up with new topics. Mm -hmm. To get more, more prepared yes. and uh, be even more productive and useful for you. Absolutely. Uh, to see what else the ego will come up with and how the one bubble concept will. Because so far it's eight for one bubble concept and zero for, for the, the ego. ego. So we will, the love is winning. Until next time, our bubbly bubbly friends. And until then, remember the most important thing. Don't struggle. Bye-bye.